Going up for auction today, 2003 Dodge Ram 2500, five nines Cummins diesel, miles are 199. This is a one owner truck with a lot of goodies on it. As you can see, it's in really nice condition as we walk around. Uh, 18 inch aftermarket wheels, is gonna need tires sooner than later. Uh, they're a little low, they'll get you where you need to be. I say do, you know, you're gonna be driving in the snow. By winter time, you're probably gonna have to put a fresh set of rubber on it. Recently traded in. Top Gun custom control arms. Uh, just to start as we walk around, we'll go through a lot of the goodies on here for you. See the body's got a nice shine to it. Uh, the fender flares and all, I don't see any rod underneath. It's still got the factory liners. We didn't take it apart, but I don't see anything anywhere on this truck that shows any signs of rust. A few little paint chips and stuff on the bottom. Uh, but overall, very, very solid truck, especially for one of this age. Got a nice roof rack on it with LED light bar in functioning condition. Tailgate's got custom vinyl, American flag, dual banks exhaust, tow package. Just really, really pretty truck. Again, this is a one owner truck. You can tell it's very well taken care for. Extensive maintenance history. Just overall, very, very solid unit. It's got some LED under lighting on it. Body's in great shape. Maybe a few little scratches here and there or paint chips, but overall has a really nice shine to it. Front bumper has a little bit of clear coat flaking right there under the headlights just from, you know, sitting straight down, the sun beating down on it. Come inside, you can see the upholstery's in very nice condition. No rips or tears. Seats are in great shape. Same thing with the passenger seat. So overall, very solid condition. Same thing with the back seat. All the cloth is in nice condition. Carpet's in good shape. Not all ripped and torn. Rockers are intact. They did the armor liner on all four of them uh, just to help protect them. But no signs of rot or any kind of that. Bottom of the door panels are all, or doors are in good shape. Not all rotted out. It's very solid truck inside we'll fire up for you as again current miles 199 660 fires right up no service lights on touchscreen radio DVD uh, CD this truck is currently on a Banks tuner it's set up to use the the Palm PDA for it does not have a charging cable for it so you'd either have to get a charging cable for it or Maybe go to a different PDA system, iPad, iPod, something that may be more suitable. It's the first time I've seen it with a Palm. Um, it just doesn't have any power because it doesn't have a power cable to charge itself. Um, but it does have a bank system on it. Heat and AC work with no issues. Nice cool air comes through. Could be a little colder, maybe a little bit more Freon or a fresh charge. But it does work. Compressor comes on. Uh, does what it's supposed to. Same thing with the heat. Four-wheel drive, functions with no issues. Again, very, very solid truck. Power windows, power locks. As you can see, Banks tuner. I'm pretty sure this guy hit up the Banks catalog and ordered everything. You got the high ram intake from Banks, the tuner, uh, optimum batteries, but you don't see a lot of guys spend the money on the batteries like that. Banks intercooler, Banks cold air intake, got the flex light, electric fans for heat, I mean for AC and cooling, does not have the stock fan clutch, got to open things up, flows more air, helps you get colder AC, um, very very nice option thing about adding that to my Super Duty, just because I've read the reviews on them and a lot of people love them. So you can hear this motor is quiet, sounds just like a Cummins. Runs and drives with no issues. No oil leaks that I can see of any kind. Come around this side. Again, Banks exhaust, there is no cat. Straight through the dual tips. Got AFE oil pan. 
No major rust issues underneath. Frame solid, cab's in good shape. Overall, very, very solid truck. Bill Steam shocks. There's a lot of aftermarket parts here. Somebody spent a lot of time, effort, and money on this truck. Uh, just very, very nice shape. Traded it in on a new 6.7 Cummins diesel. Again, like I said, the only thing on here that I really noticed that you probably want to replace in the near future is just tires. Um, wheels are really nice. No imperfections on them. Runs and drives with no issues. Uh, brakes are in good shape. Just overall very, very solid Dodge. Again, this is an 03 Ram 2500, 5.9 Cummins with 199 being the miles. Ton of aftermarket parts on it. Again, it looks like somebody bought the entire Banks catalog for this truck. Runs and drives, no issues. Just overall very, very solid unit. Again, it's a one owner. It's gonna be sold in a nerve reserve auction starting out at $1 to the highest bidder regardless of price at the end of seven days. If you have any questions, concerns, please don't hesitate to call or email. I'll be glad to help you out any way possible. Um, if you're new to eBay and you have no feedback, we just ask that you contact us ahead of time. Let us know that you're a serious bidder. I don't like relisting items. It's not fair to us or serious buyers that are involved in the auction. Just to see it end, lose out, and see it relisted again a couple days later. Just because the winning bidder had no intentions of following through. So again, one owner, 2003 Ram 2500, quad cab 4x4. 199,000 miles on a Cummins diesel, which you Cummins guys know is nothing. Runs and drives with no issues, shifts with no issues. Just an actual pleasurable truck to drive. Being sold at a nerve reserve auction, starting out at $1 and ending in seven days to the highest bidder. Good luck.